Hi oh, guys, welcome back. It's KBN Paranormal this time. Uh, and without further ado, I'm going to get into the video really quickly. I'm actually outside Garforth. I'm not actually going to give the location up because it is a well preserved site where I'm where I'm actually heading to. Now um, there are one or two um, structures at this place uh, I will be taking photographs off and also doing a video going up to them as well. The first one you'll see when you've come up from Garforth is the plaque on the wall and there's a little plaque Downey Faithful, honest, merry, true, we love you and... Now, I've just walked past. Um, a lady's just actually walked past me and told me, apparently, that isn't one of the workers. Now, as strange as that, because of the the history of this place, where I'm actually going to be showing you now, is a bit sketchy at the moment and we're doing like an adventure and also the paranormal as well. Now we have actually been, I've done my research online and quite a few people have actually caught orbs, possible orbs, um, on their camera equipment and also the paranormal as well like shadow figures or possible something walking past now I'm going to go down to the N tree now if you google this it's called the Natalie tree I don't know why I'm actually going to um, leave a description I'll leave a description down below or I'll probably pop it up as a text when I get to the tree it's not far it's at the other end of the tunnel but I want to leave the tunnel to last because I want to get everything that I know or that I've done research so far in regards to this place and it's a bit of a, a trek so like I say yeah you've got the, the tunnel which is just down there now we're going to go into the tunnel you can go into the tunnel guys um, but we're just going to go around this outside bit uh, we'll do further research when I get back in regards to this place. It is near um, or in between two small towns. And I thought when I did the when I looked online before I came out, it said something completely, totally different. And I thought it'd be a tunnel which went from another small town to Garforth but it ain't but it is a very very long path uh, it's taken me about half an hour just to get down here so I'm out of breath already I mean I haven't even done the tunnel bit yet so that's it the entrance to the tunnel but according to the map I read online I noticed somebody's done a walkabout from the other small town to Garforth and they said well, the other small town's actually down that path and there's the other entrance to the tunnel now there's there are one or two I got told there are one or two uh, little manholes at the on top of the tunnel to let a bit of light in. But we'll see that when I get down there. Uh, she said, go past the burnt out tree. I to presume. Oh, is that the burnt Oh, that's the burnt out tree. I wonder if I got hit by lightning. So if 
got a very big stumpy tree there which does actually look like it's been burnt out. And it says you go underneath some trees now. I wonder if it's down here somewhere. I did walk past the house further up where there are some tables and that so I might do a possible live. I mean I can't do a live going into the tunnel because there'd be no signal. Ah, oh, that's it there look. And this is called the Natalie tree, hence why the shape of an N. Now you can Google this and it will tell you exactly where it is. And uh, that's all I'm going to give you guys. Uh, it's a beautiful place, especially if you want to come and bring your dogs for a walk. I would suggest, if you are going to come down here, uh, I do it before it rains. Because the lady stated that half part of the tunnel gets really boggy and fills up with water. So we're actually going to go in there now and do my paranormal tricky me do and see what we get. Now the lady said Downey is the name of a dog. But when you do the research online, apparently somebody actually died whilst the tunnel was being made. Now I'm going to have to really deep you know, dig deep in regards to this. So, uh, I'm going to go in this bit here. I'll turn my light on, guys, so you can see. Just get my backpack put back on. And if I'm walking a bit heavy footed, it's because the backpack is heavy. I was going to use my torch guys, but unfortunately it's run out of batteries. And I would suggest, if you want, I would suggest bring a bright torch. So, I was told every possible three, uh, sorry, every 20 or 30 yards, there are little holes in the roof. And this bit that you see, on, focus, 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 everybody focus, there we go, right. it is full of water and I'm not going to get much further down there because I'm only wearing trainers, so oh, we're going to go around the other side, I did a bit of a recce inside the tunnel to see what it was like and it's the other side is the best side to go to. Um, it's nice and dry, it's a bit soft, the ground, but it should be all right. So I'm gonna go back down here. I will take some more photographs, especially, I did want to go live, but I've been told you go try and go live in a tunnel you will not get a signal, so technically I can't go live. Uh, but yeah, I'll take some photographs. I do have a flash camera, so I'll get that out as well. I'll take some still f photography of inside. I'm just going to get down this path. I'm sorry I sound like out of breath, guys. Bikers. Oh, thank you. That's really kind of you. Come on, Ed. Yeah. Thank you so much. No problem. You're a gentleman. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the other thing you've got to watch out for. Especially when the ground is so boggy and, and that. There's people on bikes. And I would have thought they were on bikes, right? They went to them. It'd be much easier. But then again, you don't know how deep the water is. Okay, 
so we've got a little bit of, we've got a little bit of a stream here. Let's see if I can get down here. Oh. Right. Okay. So that's up there where I started from. I'm actually going to go head back up there. Go for my other long walk. And this is the tunnel, guys. Now, having that on. I don't really, it looks like I don't really need to put my light on. I'll just keep my eyes on the screen. So, just because I'm recording, okay. Um, so this is the tunnel, guys. I'm going to set up possibly somewhere around where the bend is. I'm going to try and zoom in. Like I said, you can see some light up there. And I'm going to set up just a bit further into the tunnel and I'll see you there. If it's a key or whatever, he's here. Okay, whereabouts is he? Is he stood at the side of me? Yes. Okay. You see this little black box I've got in my hand? Can you come and affect the green light and move it to possibly either a yellow or an orange? For me. Yeah. Ooh. No. No, okay then. Well, I'll say again, were you one of the workers that built the tunnel? Still in this tunnel with me? If you're in this tunnel with me, can you make yourself known? I've got two cameras going at the same time, guys, just in case if one dies. I do have another one to get focus. Focus. Thank you. Well, I'm going to end this session, but just before I go, my name's Carl. Can you tell me your name? Dewey. If you said Dewey, is that yes or no? Thanks for talking to me. I'm going to say goodbye now, but you can't attach yourself to any of my equipment or myself, and you must stay here. But thanks for talking to me. Are you going to say goodbye? Okay, thank you.
camera might possibly go out of focus every so often guys just have to bear with me I'll try and find some dry spots and there are little air vents in here but I will be taking some photographs with my flash camera the main reason is it's because oh, I'm not going to get down there am I look at that water Zip. Oof, just like that bit uh, I might try and risk it down that way but yeah that's, this is all it is guys you've just got you've got that in there to there right. I'm trying to find a, a good way of getting down without getting soggy right no I'm not going to do it that way so I'm going to going out of focus again sorry guys let me get it back in focus there we go right yeah it's going out again come on focus good boy somehow reason every time I point it down the tunnel that's when it goes out of focus so I will do an intro to this guys in a minute. Go down focus again. As you can tell the wall is crumbling. Oh, oh I am picky. Walking down the side because it's much easier for walk down this side than actually down the other side. It's a shame now, I don't know who owns the, the tunnel. <coughs> but, I'm going to go up that way. Hello. That sounds like a little bit of a brewery. So this is the pathway you can take. which takes you on top of the tunnel. Right. It goes. Now, in regards to the tunnel guys, it has been kept a secret. There's only possibly a few people know exactly where it is. Unfortunately, like me, Unfortunately, like me, I'm going to be keeping it a secret as well. I'm not going to give out the location of this because it is a beautiful spot to come to, especially if you want to take your dogs for the walk. But it's at the other end of the tunnel is where I want to go. Because apparently uh, there's like a tombstone style plaque at the end and this is the end of the tunnel should be a little pathway getting down it. Now I haven't found the famous Natalie tree. And apparently there is a tree in here. It's called the Natalie tree because it's shaped as an N. Okay. So I'm actually going to go that way in a minute but I'm going to come down here to the other side of the tunnel and try and find out where the plaque is now I can't see it unless it's inside but I didn't see it when I went inside No. I 
Good day people, call me so I'm just going to cut it there guys before I do the paranormal.